Figuring out how to add color to epoxy can be confusing. There are a lot of epoxy pigments, resin dyes, alcohol inks, and many other options to give your epoxy a splash of color. Let's talk about the different ways you can color intent epoxy so you can use the option that's best for your project. One of the most common epoxy coloring options you'll see is mica powder. Mica powder is a very finely ground material that has a natural, lustrous shimmer combined with a rich color for an eye-popping result. This makes mica powder a great option for opaque finishes that are eye-catching and dynamic. It's also a great way to give your epoxy a metallic look with just a small amount of powder. A close cousin to mica powder is pigment powder. Pigment powder also gives your epoxy an opaque finish with brilliant color. However, it doesn't have the same shimmer found in mica powders. But what about non-powder options? Resin dyes and tints are liquid dyes that can be either translucent or opaque. These tints are usually very concentrated, meaning a little goes a long way. Resin dyes give your project a uniform and beautiful color and can be combined to dial in an exact color for each project. Just make sure to use less than 5% of your total materials volume. Otherwise, resin dyes can affect your epoxy's cure and that's not good. Another common liquid coloring option is alcohol inks. Just like resin dyes, alcohol inks give you translucent and opaque finishes, but are much less potent. Their density also allows them to sit on top of your epoxy, making some very unique effects one of their benefits. Keep in mind, alcohol inks are flammable. Many bubble removing methods, such as a torch or heat gun, will affect the inks and also can be dangerous. There are also alternative epoxy coloring options makers use. One of the most common is acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is a material makers often have on hand and is a good option for some epoxy applications. In small castings, the acrylic paint gives a nice, uniform, opaque color. Just make sure to limit the amount of paint to no more than 10% of your total material. However, in thinner surface coatings, the acrylic paint will separate out, giving you a skilled and clumpy finish. Artisans are always experimenting with alternative ways to color their epoxy, from liquid makeup, wood shavings, chalk dust, and many more, with a variety of results. However, professional dyes and powders ensure the best result without the concern of messing up your project. To grab some powders and dyes for your next project, head over to promarinesupplies.com. If you want to see how makers are using these coloring options, check out Promarine Supplies on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube.